Hey everybody, my name is Lee Daniel and you may have noticed that because I'm posting from my page. I'm also going to share though. So I wanted to talk about when somebody says you're in contempt of court. Now that contempt of court has to do with your court order and it's really important that you read your court order. So sometimes people don't read it or maybe you've forgotten it, you read it, and then it's been many years later, and my dog is wanting to come in, many years later, and now you've forgotten what it says until somebody says you're in contempt of court. Well, if it's your ex that's saying that, then you may not care initially. You may think, so what? I don't like them anyway. I'm not going to do what they want me to do, right? Well, then I want you to think about the fact that it's a court order. And even if you didn't see it, like for instance, what if you didn't go to court and there's a default judgment? Well, it's still ordered by the court, even though you didn't participate in it and you didn't agree to it and you don't like it, you still are supposed to abide by it. Or you have to file a petition to modify. Now, somebody came in to see me a few weeks ago and super nice person who did not realize that they had an obligation to continue paying something and they hadn't paid it. So when I talked to him about it, they also didn't know that I couldn't do anything about the past. Once they come in, once somebody comes in and we file something, then at that point we can ask the court to modify it. Doesn't mean the court's going to modify it, but if you don't file something, then you won't know, right? So if you are paying or ordered to pay a lot of child support and maybe you lost your job or maybe you're sick or maybe, I mean, all kinds of things could have happened and suddenly you can't afford it, you have to file something. You can't just stop paying it or you're gonna get in trouble. Now, inability to pay is a defense to contempt, but the, the smart, so you can go and you can let the judge decide once they file the contempt, but it's so much better if you take the proactive step and you're the one that says, I'm having trouble, I need some relief from this. That's far better than to wait until somebody files a contempt against you. Now, other things that you might be like, well, I'm not in contempt, I didn't do that. Well, if somebody starts threatening you, my advice is to make an appointment with a lawyer and like myself or the lawyers that work with me and we'll go over the court order if you're like, I don't know, did I do something wrong? Am I not in contempt? There is a provision that causes a lot of trouble in Madison County, which is about having someone spend the night if they're not related to you by blood or marriage. People will come in and say, well, they didn't sleep in my room or we had separate, you know, we were in a condo, or that's still violating the order if you read what the order says. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what to do about that, except the court order is what you're bound by. And so it's really important that you understand your court order, that you go over it, that you, and what I think is a good idea, and this really may not make you happy, is when you get your paperwork, let's say you did an uncontested divorce, read it, and if there's something that you are not sure about, then have a conversation with your ex. Try to discuss with them how you're going to deal with things going forward, co-parenting, which is a whole topic that we're not going into today. I just really, when a person came in to see me last week, they are so upset and so worried. Yeah, whenever they came in and then they came in again. I wanted to just do a quick live stream to, to tell you that, you know, if that is happening to you, take steps to figure out what you need to do next. You're going to feel so much better rather than knowing that this threat is out there. And, and this person had received communication from a lawyer and had said, we can put you in jail and things of that nature. And so they were really scared and freaked out. I want you to know that you need to just 
pay attention to those things. Don't just put it in the drawer, forget about it, or ignore it. If something like that's happened, then you want to be proactive. And if there's some reason that you can't follow through with the order, besides that you just don't like them anymore, then make sure that you tell the court and address it and don't just let things go. So important. So that's all of my lesson today. I have just finished writing my third book on divorce and as I've been writing it's just made me think so much of all the questions that people have and that I, I want to tell people, right? I mean, I'd love to represent you, but it's, I know that people have questions and people need help and people want to go on Google. That's not the best. If you're in Madison County or you're in a, a surrounding area, then you need to talk to a lawyer that knows the jurisdiction that, that you're in. You don't need to rely on what somebody said in California or on a post about, you need to talk to a lawyer here. Because we're going to know, at least we, I hope that we do, we're going to know how to address this for you. You can't just depend on something the internet says because it might not apply. Somebody said, well, they can't put in a provision like that because it's unconstitutional, talking about the overnight thing. Well, yeah, they can. They did. We have a court order that says that. So if they're saying, well, that's not, you know, that doesn't govern, that's not going to affect me, yes, it will. Anyway, so I'd rather you be safe than sorry. Again, I'm Lee Daniel, and I'm going to share this, and everywhere I share it, you're probably going to know it's me because it's going to be either on my page or some other page that I'm in charge of. So I hope this helps you guys. If you know somebody in this situation, then send them this video because having this kind of stress on you is not good for you in any way, not emotionally, not physically, and not mentally. Thanks, guys, and you have a great day.